guys and welcome back. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do this kind of silver, sultry, smoky eye look. So I did this eye look using the brand new Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette. I've not been paid or sponsored at all to do this video, I was just lucky enough to have this sent to me in the mail and I asked you guys on Twitter what eyeshadow palette you'd like to see me do a look using and you all said this one, so this is what you've got today. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Let's start with a primer. Today I'll be using the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base Primer and I'm just going to apply that all over my face. Using shade D7 from the Dermacolor Quintet, I'm just going to dull down any redness that's showing on my face. Now I'm not trying to fully conceal at this point, I just want to give us a nice even starting ground before we apply our foundation. Mixing the MAC BB Cream and the L'Oreal True Match together has to be my favourite base routine of this summer. I love how it gives a flawless yet dewy and natural look. With our foundation applied, let's move straight on to the eyes. Now first things, I want to create an even base. So I'm going to use the Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. I love this. I'm going to be moving on to the Naked Smoky palette. This palette is amazing. To start, I'm going to be taking shade 13 and I'm going to apply that all over my lids just to set the paint pot before moving on to Combust. Now this shade I'm just going to use in the crease and blend that out before moving on to Password. Now password I'm going to use in the outer V of my eye and I'm also going to bring this into the inner V as well and just directly into the crease. Now make sure that you're fully blending that out before you move on to black market. Now this one I'm properly going to concentrate in that outer V and also in the inner V. This will give us that halo sort of spotlight eye look and again I'm blending this fully to try and smoke that eyeshadow out. Take your time on this one, it's so much better to build up that colour gradually than to go in full force and not be able to rescue it if you make a mistake. I'm going to be using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in shade Milk to create a sort of base for the centre of my spotlight eye. Next I'm going to move on to shade Armour which is this beautiful glittery silver. Now because we've got that milk pencil there that's really going to make the silver pop and create that lightness that we want in the centre. Taking a little bit more of that black market shadow just to emphasize and really get that darkness on the inner and outer V of the eyes. Next I'm going to take shade high and I'm just going to pat that straight into the center of the lid to give us a gorgeous highlight before blending out to make sure all our transitions are seamless. I'm going to line my upper waterline, you can use any black eyeliner for this, before moving on to my liquid liner to create a small wing on this eye. Just just to give it a little bit more depth before we add our lashes. I've never tried these lashes before but I thought I'd give them a shot. These are the Ilia False Lashes and they are number 143 from the Exaggerate line. I'm going to fill in my brows today using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in shade Taupe. There's no real reason for me using Taupe today except I've run out of medium brown bad times guys bad times let's finish off that skin i'm taking d1w and d4 mixing them on the back of my hand and then just applying them i think this is with an eyeshadow brush once i've targeted any areas i'm just going to blend that all out using my real techniques miracle complexion sponge Moving on to the under eye area, I have no idea why I chose this bourgeois concealer for this today. I'm not a huge fan of it to be honest, I haven't used it in months but yeah, better luck next time. I'm going to highlight using the L'Oreal Paris Lumi Magique and this is just to add some brightness and just some lightness to the centre of my face really. So I'm just going to blend that out using my finger and then moving on to the sponge to make sure it's all flawless. Using the Ben Nye Neutral Set Colourless Powder, I'm just going to set my concealer in my under eye area and also the centre of my face. So I'm just going to apply it using a fluffy brush and then just brush off any excess that may be still there. I'm going to finish off the under eye area and basically I'm going to do the same as the lid. So I'm taking black market on the inner and outer corner of my eye and I'm going to finish that off using shade Armour just in the centre. Finish those eyes off with a few coats of mascara. 
Let's move on to contouring and today I'll be using the Crown Brush 10 color contouring palette. Now I think of this palette as sort of like a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder contour palette. It's really good and definitely worth trying. I'll be using the Milani Baked Blusher in Luminoso and I'm just going to sweep that onto my cheeks. Back to the Naked Smoky palette, I'm going to apply shade high into the tear duct area because, well, I just wanted a little bit more sparkle on the eyes really. I'm going to finish off the face with the Miri Luminizer which is my all time favourite highlighter in case you didn't notice because I use it in every video. For lipstick I'll be using the Maybelline Nude Perfection and this is one of the Color Drama lip crayons. I do really like these lip crayons to be honest, they are some of my favourites but then I say that and I only own two of them. Does that still count? I'm not sure. And here's the finished look, my acne coverage naked smoky makeup tutorial. for watching I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you know what I actually love this eyeshadow palette there are so many gorgeous shadows in this palette and I think I'm gonna be wearing it like all the time from now on um, highly recommend this palette I love it I think it retails for around 38 pounds here in the UK so I'm presuming that's about 50 60 dollars or something in the US or you guys probably get stuff cheaper so probably cheaper than that actually thinking about it um thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know in the comments if there are any other products you would like to see me try using in a tutorial or doing a little review on just let me know thanks for watching and guys please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up because that really helps my channel out and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video i'll see you guys soon bye